Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Marshall GTV. Huh, I got it right this time. My name is Marshall. Today we have another one in a... Hopefully you like this. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's the Dan Electro Pastrami, which is an overdrive. That's about it. It's real cheap. And here we go. Let's get some clean. I'm using a Wormuth Parts guitar, a uh, different one than I normally do. This one has a JB Jr. in the bridge. Let's get that a little clean. It has a, I don't know, I think a cruiser in the neck. Well, here it is. Clean. Something like that and blend between both the neck and the bridge. And it's got the in-between, which has a lace sensor or something or another in the, in the middle. And the neck in the middle. All right, let's go ahead and get, get this going on here. Gain all the way down. Can't hear it at all. Let's turn up the gain to the nine o'clock position. There we go. Gain at noon. Not bad. Uh, gain at three o'clock. Rather interesting sound. Let's go ahead and turn the gain all the way up. Here it on the neck position. Not bad. Let's go ahead and listen to it with a tube screamer. You can see the settings. It's at about a little bit over unity and the gain on the tube screamer is at the nine o'clock position. Let me turn that on. Oops. Here we go. <laughs> Back on the bridge. Okay. Now, let me throw some compressor on there. Let me show you the compressor without it. Compressor's off. Compressor back on. And with the pastrami. Now the reason why they're getting a little bit of that cool squish that you hear, the reason for that there is a LED diode in in the circuit somewhere. 
which gives it that nice, lovely squish. So let me give you a little bit more of the example, besides, of course, the compressor giving it the squish anyway, but regardless. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. There's not really much much about this particular pedal, but hey, you know what? Things things work out that okay, you know? This particular pedal, I think I ended up spending something around the range of $20 new back about Oh gosh, it must it had to have been at least 20 years ago. Maybe maybe more, but they're still making them. Maybe not 20 years. Eh, whatever. But from what I understand, they are still making them. There is some great little other ones. And, you know, the durability, yeah, no, not, not going to be very durable. You can't stomp on them. But, you know, who cares? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to. That'd be great. Comment. Hey, that'd be neat, too. So let us uh, take a little bit of a little bit more. I'm going to throw on a phaser here. That's all I got for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like I said, hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, we'll see you again real soon. Enjoy. <laughs>